Good afternoon, this is Research Lecture Series, and today I will be discussing to you the importance of theories in research writing. By definition, a theory is a well-confirmed explanation that is formulated to explain, rationalize, predict, and understand a phenomena, case, or experience that is, can be situated in a defined world. By definition, a theory is a structured knowledge that came out from experimentation or as a result of theoretical saturation, allowing us to see our problem differently, allowing us to rationalize our assumption with a purpose to strengthen our hold towards our problem. In some other cases, this theory is allowing us to predict and to understand how variables are related or can be related to one another. The importance of theory in research is that it is providing us an objective lens, a lens that is allowing us to see problem in a different perspective away from our own personal research biases. In this kind of, in this kind of, uh, important element as an important element in research theory is also providing us a direction a theory should be operational remember that the that our theoretical framework is guiding us is shaping our view about our problem it is one of the most objective part of our study wherein it is giving us the capacity. It is giving us the capacity as a researcher to decide objectively and to de decide wisely. One of the most one of the most important research skill of a researcher is his ability to write a research case. In this example that I have given to you, let me read it. Challenges in the new work-from-home setup is bringing both students and teachers on a series of adjustments. These adjustments are making both students and teachers to be flexible in dealing with their work problems to attain personal growth and professional advancement. The study will identify adjustments among students and teachers in work-from-home or study-from-home and will recommend actions for personal growth and professional advancement among teachers and students. In writing a research case, one of the most important things to consider is identifying the specifics. There are three specifics that we must understand. The first is specific that we must unveil on our research case, and one of the most important specifics that we must consider in writing a research case is the specific what and in this research sample adjustment is the specific what the specific what is the problem of the study which sometimes touch the objective of the study the specific what is allowing us to understand what will be the core of the research what will be the core of the problem that the research will soon to answer. In this example, it is all about the adjustments of both students and teachers. These adjustments will allow us to see what are the challenges that makes these teachers to adjust. Challenges such as uh, technical challenges, financial challenges, those things that is pushing the individual to have his or her own version of adjustment. In this research, it is associating that one's triumphant professional advancement and personal growth may be attained. However, because of this adjustment, professional advancement and personal growth may be affected by these challenges brought to us by work from home or study from home. The second specific that we should answer is the specific who. In this case, it these are the students and the teachers. And the third is the specific where. In this study, it is, say for example, school zag is the specific where. Where refers to the locale of the study, the specific locale of the study. By identifying this specific what, this specific who, and this specific where, we can now 
proceed to the identification of an important theory. In this example, I would like to use the theory of work adjustment by Rene V. Davies and Lloyd H. Lofquist, in which according to them, work is an interaction between the individual and the work. Satisfaction is only attained when the individual meets the work and the work is suitable to the individual. Environment is important to the adjustment of an individual, which is in our case, we are confined in the corners, in the four corners of our home, or we are confined as teachers uh, in the corners of our offices, and then minus the students, of course. So, satisfaction is the principal indicator of work adjustment. There is a specific indicator that the theory of work adjustment uh, is associating, and this is satisfaction. Now, how can we fit the theory? How can we fit the theory in our uh, specific case? The theory of work adjustment, the first principle, relates to the adjustment. The second, the second and third principle may relate to the challenges brought by this work from home for our students and teachers. By identifying the environment, by identifying how is satisfaction being affected by this. And lastly, of course, professional advancement and personal growth is our indicator that our students and teachers uh, adjusted well in this new setup. This is how theory should relate to our case. Again, theory should be operational all throughout of our study because theory will allow us to see problem in a different perspective, in a more objective perspective. In conclusion, theory and research serves as an objective lens and as a direction. Aside from that, it is a fortification. Like a fortress, it is strengthened and justifies our need for investigation or any research action. It also allows us to have a view, an, a scientific or an objective view of our variables. Theory is an important element in research writing. This is research lecture series. The importance of theory in research writing. Good day and God bless you all.